channel. My name is Jannie. If you are new here, welcome and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing in the link down below um, or follow me on social media um, where I am most active, especially on Instagram, so you can follow closely on what my day-to-day -day life is like. Um, so today I came up with the idea for this random video um, that as a resident doctor, uh, a lot of people say how do you have time to do so many things one of the things that i do the most is we watch tv shows me and my husband basically when i get home every day we just um eat watching tv shows and just spend some quality time together um sometimes i study while i'm watching tv shows i just kind of grew up doing that since i was in high school um so that's something that i enjoy doing and i will continue to do so as long as i can um, so I thought it would be an interesting thing to do top 10 favorite TV shows of an OBGYN resident. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so number one, the show that we are watching right now that we are both obsessed with is The Marvelous Mrs. Meisel on Amazon Prime. Oh my god, it is such a good show. You can laugh for hours, just literally for hours hours while watching this show it's so well made and especially i love the fashion i know it's so like 1950s and it's very like classic feminine very chanel-esque it's just it's just like my dream come true you know i just finished watching gossip girl for the first time in my life i know i know a few years too late but hey better late than never because i am obsessed with gossip girl and their wardrobe and every single piece of fashion that is in that show. And I was like kind of sad that um, I'd finished the show and I had nothing else to watch that would, you know, prompt me, prompt me to be fully immersed in like fashion. And then we started watching The Marvels, Mrs. Meisel, The Magicians. So we started watching The Magicians a while ago and it's such like a random dark show, but it's so good and it's so well made that it kind of just like hooked us. Actually, I started watching it first and then I kind of like my husband sat down and we started watching it together. And then we just kind of kept on watching and now we're like obsessed. The storyline is amazing and so many random things happen it's kind of like funny but quirky and dark all at the same time and it's about magic and i i love magic um, i'm kind of a dork i love magic and fairy tales and supernatural stuff and angels and demons and those things really motivate me that's basically the only thing i read whenever i read books um so tv shows that are of those same topics like hug me immediately so yeah so the next show that i am totally obsessed with is casa de papel or money heist um so this show is a spanish show about this group of people um some of them were criminals or like blue collar criminals and they kind of got together to make this really big robbery and they kind of became national heroes in spain and then they kind of wanted to get together again and i don't know they kind of went on this tangent storyline but it's so good. It's so good. It's so well made. And the characters kind of just like make you fall in love with them and you get all involved in their lives and the drama. And it's just, it's just an amazing show. If you haven't watched it, you, you have to because it's amazing. If you can watch it in the original language, which is in Spanish, it's even better. But I think I've heard good things about the English version for those of you that do not understand Spanish. But if you can't understand it, I definitely, definitely recommend it. Next is How to Get Away with Murder. And kind of on the same note as all the other shows that I've already mentioned, um, How to Get Away with Murder, I started watching because I was obsessed with Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder premiered and was they started giving it right after. So I started watching it and the mystery and the cleverness of it and just the way that it is shot it kind of just keeps you on the edge of your seat every single episode until they boom reveal the big secret and it's like oh my god you kind of get like obsessed with it and just like with money heist um i kind of get in super involved in the characters relationships and their lives and all the drama 
and then I'm just kind of like completely, completely obsessed with the show. Next on is Good Witch, and this show is so random. My husband makes fun of me for watching it. It's very like basic, it's very frilly, it's just like a super romantic comedy, super cheesy. But it's so good! It's so good! I started watching it with my neighbor um, after the hurricane. She used to watch it and I kind of just got hooked on it. Um, it's about... the story is about Cassie Nightingale and this is a character that was in a show, like the same kind of show back in the 80s and I think the original one was in like the 60s? I could be wrong but I definitely know it was like 80s, 90s, the one that the same actress was on. And she's basically like this witch, kind of like hush hush secret, um, it's like very little magic, it's not like flamboyant Harry Potter magic, but it's like very subtle, um, like miracles or um, feelings and um, the storyline is just so soothing and relaxing and I really enjoy watching it to kind of like numb my brain and just kind of relax and enjoy this really beautiful story where there's not that much drama and not that much going on and it's just kind of like flow, like being in a river and listening to the to the water flow and kind of like doing yoga. I don't know, that's how I feel when I- The next two is like The Flash and Arrow. Um, I am completely obsessed with both. Arrow I started watching many many years ago like when it originally premiered and because of Oliver Queen. Oliver Queen is so handsome. He's so hot. And he was even hotter at the beginning of the series. Like I remember the preview like he was doing this like climbing bar thing with like the abs and it was just kind of like really sexy and kind of like hooked you. And then um, when The Flash premiered, they kind of did this like overlapping episode and I kind of just like got into it and then, I don't know, I like superheroes too and we're really big DC fans. Unpopular opinion maybe? I don't know. You let me know in the comments which one is your favorite superhero. Um, next up is Elite and Elite is a really random show that I found one day while I was couch surfing and just kind of like... I didn't know what to do and I started watching this show called Elite and it's about um, a, a high school in Spain of these like really rich teenagers and um, diplomatic sons and daughters and it's all like very like fancy but then it has this little like spin in the way that they film it kind of like how to get away with murder where in the first season there's like a murder and then you get like clips from the little scenes of leading up to it but they don't give you who the person who died is until like almost the last episode of the season and they kind of like keep the tension on high and then there's all these other like storylines and drama that goes on that kind of just like gets you em like embezzled in, in the storyline and the new season should be coming soon hopefully by the summer so I'm super super excited if you ever watch the telenovela rebelde um, it has that kind of vibe too without the music, um, I don't know, it's just weird. It's like, I describe it as a combination of Rebelde, How to Get Away with Murder, and like 13 Reasons Why in a way, um, just because of the teenage drama, but it's so good, it's, I really really enjoy the show. Next up is Supernatural, and Supernatural is like my guilty pleasure. I have been watching Supernatural since I was like a teenager. Um, I love Sam and Dean. I have seen um, the first five or six seasons more than once and I, ju I just love the show. Like I said, I love Supernatural stuff so the show obviously called to me from the very beginning and I remember when it started they used to give the episodes in the morning right after episodes of Charmed which was also like my favorite show growing up so I kind of just grew up with Supernatural and I love it and their episodes are still so good and they always find a way to like make it like fun and quirky and really random and they kind of have a storyline but then they have these random episodes that have nothing to do with the storyline and it's just really really amazing and Jensen Ackles is just so hot so dreamy I love him 
I kind of do. My husband knows. We always make fun that, you know, I love Dean, but whatever. The last show that I have that's like a series is um, Designated Survivor. So we started watching this one time when my cousin came over and we kind of got hooked like all the other shows I've mentioned and we just kept on watching and there's now like an Asian version of it and it's just like a really popular show and it's so random how the political scene shows kind of take inspiration from real events but then kind of not and then it's kind of scary some of the things that happen on there you're like whoa it's kind of like house of cards when people were like is this how government works like mind blown like seriously and then i'm just gonna add this really random other tv show i love property brothers i watch hdtv a little bit obsessively especially when property brothers is on i can watch those marathons all day long and i keep telling my husband that i want them to like do our house or build it or renovate it or whatever i want jonathan to be my carpenter and decorator and I want Drew's expertise. So, yeah. Hey guys, well, there you have it. 10, 11 um, of my favorite TV shows. And like I said, I'm an OBGYN resident and these are the shows that I enjoy watching in my very limited time off when I'm not doing YouTube videos or studying or, I don't know, playing with my cat. I don't know, this video got very random, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.